started. This is not how I wanted it to start. Story of my life. Okay, not great because there we go, the door is in the way and now my cup is in the way. But hello everyone, welcome back to the video on my channel. I'm sitting on the floor, as you might be able to tell, as you might not, I don't know. But please just ignore my sore throat sound. Um it actually doesn't hurt. I've just I'm losing my voice basically I'm not gonna lie to you I drank way too much vodka over the weekend um I got back from Birmingham yesterday for my friend's birthday and yeah just too much vodka it's dried my throat out that's it really I have no nothing to report back but what I'm gonna do today in this video is have some coffee um so today I'm going to be sorting out my tall drawers you can't see them but these are like you know my wide Alex drawers they're next to the tall ones so the tall ones are literally like here right in front of me obviously I'm going to change the camera angle and stuff I just need to figure out what I'm actually going to do and how I'm going to do it because I'm running out of space to put the camera but basically I'm going to literally empty every single drawer and put everything back in and take everything like take everything out get rid of the stuff that I don't really want and then put everything else back in in a neat way um, and I just thought, you know what, I, mean, I always tie the exact same thing. I mean, look, why is there a ruler in my nail drawers? Like, what the hell? So I always tell you that um, I get things done quicker and just I'm more productive when you're watching me. So I thought I might as well get you involved and you can help, sort of help. You're not here to physically help. You're there to help me stay in the zone. Also, I did my nails. I didn't do a video for them, I'm afraid, because I literally just went totally plain blue. I'm not sure you can really tell because they're not going to focus, but I'll, tell, I'll show you and I'll turn you around to put you on the drawers. Um, I just used a Real Bird Glamour Gel in number five, which is the beautiful blue colour. And then I used a glitter top coat on the two middle ones from Blue Sky, which is also beautiful. Um, I also need to find some paper because I need to write down a list of all the Magpie gel colours that I've still got that are in here um, that I need to sell because, to be honest, they're just taking up space and it's a waste of time, so I need to get rid of those. Um, and then yeah, we're just going to go through here, so it's in here, hopefully get rid of some stuff that I don't need, and even the stuff that I do need, like I just need to put it neatly instead of it just being an absolute mess. So that is what I'm going to do. I've also got some um, wax strips that I need to cut up into like smaller pieces so I can use them as lint-free wipes, because I've run out of lint-free pads. And there's no point in me buying some more if I've got those strips right there. So I do still, I'm wanting to do this now because I do still have the giveaway boxes. Um, here with me obviously because the giveaway hasn't ended yet so I'm hoping that if there is anything that I just really don't have a use for I can just pop some stuff in those boxes if it's something worth giving away so I'm going to turn you around now onto these drawers so you can see the types of crap that I've got in here that I need to get rid of um, and then obviously we can get on with the video so I need to find out where I'm going to put you first on the holder then we can get started so let's get into oh gosh let's get into that Okay, I've just made a complete mess of the room, literally just making space for my phone. I'm going to have to put the flash on my phone because I'm covering like most of the light with what I'm using to hold my phone. This drawer's now empty. I've took all this stuff out. So I need to just move this stuff to my left because that's the stuff I've just took out of what I'm holding my phone with. I've had to like put a unit on its side, literally here, look, just to hold my phone. It's an absolute nightmare, but never mind. So here we've just got some tinting bits and bobs. And then here we've got one of those bags I got from Model Ones. I actually don't have these Model Ones um colours anymore because I gave them to a client. I've got some colours somewhere, I just don't know where they are, but yeah, I gave them to a client um because she likes to paint her own toes. So I have given her um, given her the colours because I just thought what's the point in keeping them for no reason when she could make use of them um, and I have obviously given her my best advice on how to apply toenail, like how to apply gel polish to her toes correctly and everything and I've asked her if she does have any problems then to let me know and I'll help out as best I can. Um, so... I'm just going to put all my tint and stuff in this bag because I've actually just realised it. It's a really cute bag and it's a really good size. I don't really grab my tint and stuff that often. Like, obviously, I've just tinted my eyebrows, so I'm not going to need it for quite a while. So I'm just going to pop it all in here so it's not all open, like, in a what's it? And that is literally, like, the perfect little bag for the tint and things. So that's handy. That's a good start. So next, we've got, what else have got in here? A random little book 
We've got some of that horrible, oh no we haven't, I thought it was the magic remover stuff but it's not. We've got some model ones, different types of gels. I've also got two of the magic gel remover stuff which I actually was planning on doing a video with this such a long time ago and I keep forgetting. I want to do like a magic gel remover versus like the real way to remove gel and just like basically show everyone that it's not worth using these because it doesn't really take that long to do it the correct way either. Oh here's my nails by the way, totally forgot. Isn't it beautiful? I absolutely love them. I do need to take them down a bit because they're a bit too long for me, but I just love them, so I can't do it yet. I need to just make the most of having some long nails for a few days, then I'll get rid of them. But they're just Magpies um, Tapered Square Flon Tips. They just went nice and easy because it's not any nails. I've also got some fiberglass here that I just don't use. I might put that in the giveaway, um, just in case anyone that wins the boxes does use it. And then here I've got all of my... Uh, what they call is those little bags that I put my foils in like there's an absolutely ridiculous amount here but I bought like a really large amount of them that one's empty um I bought loads and loads just because I didn't ever want to run out obviously this is excessive there's no need for this many but and the plus side I am literally never going to run out like I'm never going to own this many foils it is ridiculous so I suppose that's good these might as well just stay in here because obviously I'm not going to keep those anywhere else so I'm going to I'm going to start filling the drawers from the bottom up, bottom up I think. So I'm going to put these in here with those at the back. And then I've got all these. That's just rubbish. That's a random clip. Some more fiberglass here. I'm just going to put all of these like within each other so they're not in the way. I don't know why I have this many like spare tubs. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is because I change my like organization so often is i just never know when i'm going to need them so i like to keep them just in case but i think this bottom drawer is just going to be like a a spare organization type of drawer like i'm just going to pop all of these in here because obviously i don't use these at the moment but that's not to say that i won't in the future so i am going to keep them because i don't know if anyone owns any of these from clear jelly semper but they cost an absolute fortune so i don't really want to throw them away or like, give them away so annoying that they don't fit in that way around but yeah i don't want to throw them away i give them away because they cost me a lot of money and like i said i change my mind on how i organize that often like it's likely that i'm going to want them again so I might as well just keep them then here we've got a spare drawer so i'm going to pop my tint and stuff in here i think actually no i put this down for gels oh it's in there as well um okay so with these gels like i need to I've got so many of these little mini model ones lamps it's absolutely ridiculous i'm going to put these in the storage drawer because the divine nails and beauty um foils came in these but they're really good for um tips so if i buy any more tips then i'll have spares i'm hoping it'll shut if i put them yes i love it when it comes together there we go put those down there so yeah, like I was saying, I need to write down um, which gels I've still got left from Magpie because I've got a, a couple of people waiting for me to send them the list. So I'm just going to use my to-do list pad, like a one that I haven't used yet, and I'm just going to write down what I've got. Um, I'm obviously not going to do that on camera because it's going to be super boring and a long task because there's still quite a few left in here. As you can see, they're all at the back there. So I'm going to write those all, like all those down. And then I can join you back here as soon as I've done that because it's going to be a long, boring task. Okay, look how sparkly this is with the torch on. That is absolutely incredible that is the born pretty one you can't even read the front of it because it's literally that sparkly but it's beautiful look at it but then look when i turn the light off how magical is that it's absolutely insane but yeah that was the born pretty one that they sent me Refle re reflective glitter nail polish is absolutely stunning anyway so i've wrote down all the magpie colours that I've still got left to sell. So that's a task completed. Quite a few there that I need to get rid of. And then I've got lots of these Ink London gels. Which I don't really use like on... Well, not that I don't really. I don't use at all on clients. But 
I will like I have used like used a couple of them in a video quite recently when I made that palette thing so I'm feeling like I might like basically find a use for these instead of trying to get rid of them because they're just a nightmare to post um, I've also got some bilge me up as well which is left over so I'm just going to pop those in here with those gels also got some blue sky gum gel which I don't use at all but again I might use it for a video and then we've also got some model ones acrylic liquid so I'm just going to pop that really really tightly shut down here so I'm going to cut this here because even though I'm not going to put this in the giveaways at the moment because obviously all of those boxes have already got one of these in this can go in the next giveaway box so it's fine I'll keep that I'm going to keep these because eventually I will do that video that I keep talking about well hopefully um in this box here we've got some jewel forms which I won't use so I'll put those in the giveaway but I might actually use the poly gel for a video at some point so I am going to take some out of that box just because it's not very nice and I'd rather use the boxes that are in here because at least then they're coming in handy and they're just sat in here and I've got more space to keep other things in this drawer then so that's that's that drawer and then this in here and that will fit hopefully Perfectly, so that's another drawer full and done. And then we've got another square drawer here. And then up here we've got some random bits and bobs. Let's just lift you up now. We've got some random bits and bobs, like these things here, because I did some gift boxes during the lockdowns and I used those. So I'm just going to have this as another random drawer. So I'm just going to put my tinting stuff at the back, because again, I've used it quite recently, so I'm not going to need it very soon. This stuff I will use at some point for something, so I am going to keep it. And then basically I've just got loads and loads and loads of press-ons. So I'm going to separate those. So I'm just going to pull these up. In fact, I'm going to put these at the back because my tinting stuff... I'm absolutely going to use before any of these press on items. I'm going to stand these up at the back. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing, so apologies if not. Just move that a sec. Stand all these up. Is there any more in there that I like those boxes? No, we can come all down here though. And then we've got this as well. So I'm hoping that that will fit perfectly there and keep those exactly where I want them. We've got this couple of bits and bobs. I've got my tinting items that obviously I said I'm going to use at some point. And then I can squeeze those two down there. Perfect. I'm happy with how that's turned out. Got a few bits and bobs like these application kits. I'm just not going to use. I don't know what to do. I've got some swatches here of things that I don't even have anymore, so they need to go. And then here, I'm going to take them out and show this to you. Hold on. I've got a shitload of base coat. Right. That's just a hairy drawer now. <laughs> Basically, this stuff here, I got these originally like to do and press on so I got like just pieces of card and then these like these seal bags put a sticker in the middle then I stuck like some double tape here double sided tape here and here and then I put the press ons like five of the top five of the bottom and then I used these things literally just folded this over and just like had a little thank you thing in here and then they'd go like in the same thing together if that makes any sense that was really long-winded but basically like this would have the the um what they called what are they called this would have the nails on that would then be put in here inside there and then in an envelope of this corresponding color which is also in this pile that i've got and then i'd put the envelope in here and then it was like a few bits and pieces to open but obviously i don't do press-ons anymore and i have all this stuff 
Um, and to be quite honest with you, I don't really know what to do with it. It's not really, I don't really see it as the type of thing that like you'd sell on because, I don't know, it's all very personal stuff. Like I've put these kits together myself and things like that. So I'm not sure how you go about selling something like that. But I do need to do something with all this stuff because it's just getting silly. It takes up so much space. I've also got lots of envelopes that I have literally no use for. Like I just bought these by accident because I thought they were bubbles, like bubble wrapped envelopes, but they're not. So anyway, yeah, I've got all of these, like lots and lots of these things and I have no idea what to do with them. So I'm not sure. I was thinking about potentially thinking of something cute to do with them, like for Christmas um, for my family. I'm not really sure what though. I was thinking of maybe like just for each person, like I thought it'd be nice to just maybe, I don't know, like get a photo print. I'm dropping stuff everywhere, but get a photo printed because I feel like these are the perfect size for a photograph. Maybe get a photo printed and close it, pop that in an envelope inside their card. Then it'd just be cute to have a little photo of us and then maybe write something here about the photo. But I'm not sure, like I'm going to think about it. I definitely don't have like this many family members anyway to get rid of all this card so I don't know I just need to find a use for it I'm not very artistic like with anything other than nails so this sort of thing is like a bit out of my depth to be honest but I'll come up with something it's fine if no one's got any ideas then let me know but don't make it too artistic because like I said it's not really my thing <laughs> so I'm just going to pop all this back in here but just a bit neater than it was before um just so much stuff it's actually ridiculous i think yeah they're bigger than them so i'm gonna pop those underneath don't worry by the way not all of these drawers are like absolutely full of stuff like some of them are actually almost empty so shouldn't be too long the video she said probably already half an hour long <laughs> there we go and we've got the card we've got some of those and then we've got the cellophane things and there's another random one there. So that's those. I don't have anything else. Oh, I've got a few um, stickers, which are just pointless now. But let me just stand up now because it's getting a bit, a bit uncomfortable sitting on the floor trying to be this tall. So in here, I've got all sorts of random stuff. I'm just going to take those out. Now, I am actually going to get rid of these extends tips because, to be quite honest with you, I absolutely hate them. So. I'm gonna get rid of those. I might as well get rid of the extends things as well because, like I said, don't like it. Never use them. That is the lid. I'll just show. It. I can't even show you what I'm doing because my phone doesn't go that high on this stand. Um, but basically, I'm just emptying out all the stuff. So I'll show you in a second. Actually, if I put all the stuff that's in here in the one below it. Glad to see what's in here because I'm going to put some of the stuff in there anyway. So let's get you back over here. You just see, let's zoom out a little bit. That's zooming in. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so in here we've got. I'm very sorry about the awkward angle. There we go. So in this box here, I've got lots of stuff to do with things that I don't even do anymore, like um, eye patches and all that sort of thing. And I don't even do that anymore, so it's a complete waste of product. So, I'll take these out. And then put stuff in here, to, hopefully, that I actually use. It's not a complete waste of time. So, I've got lots of tools in here that I use, like, when I just do my own nails or family, you know, like, have random bits and bobs. I don't use my clients but I still have them just in case just extra tools and then here are my gift vouchers this is what my gift vouchers look like they're very just pretty simple um and then when I put the like amount on and stuff I use these really cute shiny stickers because I am a child so that can go that can go that can go in that place. so i'm gonna pop those in there because sometimes people buy them as christmas presents so i could 
need those soon so i'm just going to put this sort of stuff in here as well i've got lots of these things which i just don't use at the moment my plan was like when i started teaching which obviously i haven't started yet like i do one-to-ones now but i haven't started actually teaching courses as such because basically it's a really expensive thing to get into and i don't really want to start it until i know that it's going to pay off sort of thing like because if I'm going to pay like hundreds of pounds to get started with it, like I'm already qualified, if I'm going to spend hundreds on like insurance and like getting kits and like all sorts of different things, I want to make sure that I'm going to at least get that money back. Like I'd like to make money from it. Like I get that most businesses takes a while, so I wouldn't mind straight away. But I do want to sort of like make sure I'm going to make something from it and it's not just going to be me spending loads of money that I just don't have. So yeah that's why that's not happened yet it will definitely happen soon enough though anyway so this is my label maker obviously i reach for that quite often so i'm just going to pop that in here probably the other way around there we go and i've also got some more random stuff i've got lots of stationery and wax melts so here's all the wax melts um I'm going to see if I've got a little long... Yeah. See, this thing's coming in really handy now, like this drawer at the bottom that's got all my uh, bits and pieces in. It's coming in very handy. I'm going to start using these again now that it's like getting into autumn, winter. I just don't use wax melts in the summer. Because, I don't know, I just don't... <laughs> Is anyone else not? Like, I don't, I don't know. Is it an all-year-round thing for everybody? Not for me, but there you go. I've got lots of wax melts ready for this uh, autumn winter, which is fab. So I've got them in there. And then basically, I'm going to take you out of the... What's it? So this is all I've got left now. I've got an empty drawer there. Almost empty drawer there. They're literally just those little chrome head things from Magpie, which, to be honest, I'm probably just going to throw away because I just used disposables. I don't know why I got them. Just jumped on the hype way too soon. Didn't really think it through. Lots and lots of swatch sticks, which I had in another drawer, didn't I? Maybe I could have a swatch stick drawer. Like a drawer specifically just for swatches. Um, let's take all these out. I'm just going to take out my, what's it called? Gift vouchers. I'll put those in something else. And then this drawer is literally just going to be solely for lots of different types of swatching <laughs> so that can just be for those and then those gift vouchers can just go back in there that's fine along with my stationery so it's those and like i said they've got to go this is absolutely beautiful it is from house of fraser i think and it's just it smells delicious i love it they can go because they're probably really old. Um, they can go in with the random stuff, which I put in here. So we get in there. This this is what we're looking like. It's good. We're getting there slowly but surely. This can go in with the bottom stuff. And, that one. and then we've got some more tools here, which is just ridiculous. How many tools does a person need? I'm gonna put those in with this i don't know it's not got anything to do with swatches but there's other tools in there so it's fine <sighs> that one's empty now which is good so the swatch stick i'm really sorry i'm trying to get through it quick now because we would have dinner in a minute and i'm really hungry <laughs> so in here we've got some striping tapes which i didn't know about i mean i can't say that striping tape is really something i use so you know what i think i'm going to put these tapes in the giveaway boxes because i just don't use it it's just not something that i ever go for so i'm going to pop that in the giveaway boxes so so far for the giveaway boxes just to add stuff in obviously they're all pretty much full anyway but i've got some fiberglass i've got some jewel forms and we've got some striping tape now so i'm going to put those in the giveaways and then they are a type of swatch, so they can go in there. That can go in the bin because it's an absolute mess. I don't know where I'm going to put it. 
I'll just put it there for now. My, my coffee's gone cold, so I can't drink it. And then in here, we've just got papers. I'm going to pop these and some after sun, because you're never going to need it. I'm going to pop those in there with the papers. Then in here, we've just got some coffees. So that's it now. I'm happy. I've got some, like, body shop creams that clients can put on after their appointment. When I've put their oil on and took pictures and everything, I then say, like, oh, help yourself to some cream. So they're beautiful. This one from last year's Christmas is just lovely. I really like that. So that's it, I think. I'm going to end it there, I think. This, we see they need to go. I will find another use for these boxes, though, because they are really useful. I think I got them from Hobbycraft, maybe. I'm not 100% but I will find a use for those um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video it was a bit random I know but I'm glad I got so much done so we've got what's stuck something is stuck I'm going to take out that box at the bottom get that out okay lie that down lie that down and lie that down <laughs> and pop those down there that's fab right that one's done so i'm gonna put this one i actually can't remember what i was gonna do with this now that one's full. oh so i've got some little gels down here that i'm not really sure what i want to do with yet please don't suggest that i put them in a giveaway because i'm not going through the nightmare of trying to post gel i'm sorry and to be honest I don't know, I don't want to sound rude because obviously we all know that I do giveaways and I don't have a problem with doing them. I really like giving away stuff that I don't use to people because I just think it's only fair. Like, if you don't use it, then it is it is good to pass it on. I think that it is something that's nice to do. But can we just remember that, like, this stuff belongs to somebody and some people are really like, oh, you shouldn't waste things, you should give them away. Like, give them things away is actually a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so I lost my voice a bit there. It costs money. Like I have to post the things, and especially like when the giveaways are like an, an actual like parcel size, like it can cost me like like seven pounds to post, <laughs> which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're doing three giveaways at a time, it all adds up. And I know that people are really grateful for them, and I'm really really grateful for those people. But it's the ones that just like expect you to give your stuff away that bug me a little bit. <laughs> Um, I'm not being negative or anything like I just wanted to put it out there like it's not really normal for you to ask someone to give their stuff away like it's a bit strange so please just not just my channel because luckily I don't get it too much but just try and imagine like how like a little bit odd that is if that makes any sense like I hope I'm not being mean because I'm really not trying to be but I just I'm trying to give people a different perspective that's what I'm trying to do so yeah, there the drawers done. I'm really glad I've got those finished. Um, now I just need to sort out the rest of the room because look at the state of this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.